do love. Oh, there's a great example of the ground strokes there of, of Zhang. She takes the ball so early. And Serena, a, a good indicator on how Serena's playing is how she's serving, but also how she's moving. And that last point moved very well. When you set up a game plan against Serena Williams, do you try and get it to the forehand side? Is that where most of the errors come from? Uh, they can. The most important thing is depth on Serena. You don't want to give her any time. You've got to try and take that away. And Zhang has the ability to do that as well with her return to serve because she takes it so early. Just as she did against Melinda Zink from the same end, she holds her opening uh, service game. Melinda in the from Hungary in the previous round, her opponent, and then electing to walk straight round. No messing about. It was only two minutes long and a comfortable start for some people's favourite for this year's championship. What price a Williams double again? Playing with her sister Venus in the doubles. I saw them playing on court 18 the other day. I assume they won that match. Do you know, all the previous eight times that Venus and Serena Williams have played doubles here at Wimbledon, one of them has gone on to win the singles title. Well, that bodes well for Serena this year, with Venus out. That just makes them more match tough, gets them back on the court, gets them even sharper on the grass. What a serve there by Zhang. It took Serena by surprise. And Zhang is known for more of a slice serve. Serena was ready there for a forehand. And Zhang well, had a great serve to her backhand. and how she handled that return. Came very hard back cross court from Serena and Zhang was down so low, able to get her racket back and, and handle the pace and use Serena's pace to generate more on her own forehand. Uh, yes, same again. That's an excellent start for Chinese number two. I mean, she's already down there when she's at, you know, she's, she's just a, a dinky thing, but she is so powerful. When she sets her base, I mean, she looks in fantastic condition. 
and she holds her ground. Mm. She doesn't step back. She doesn't let the pace push her back. She, as you said, holds her ground with her legs and times it so well, and, and that's so important. So we could have a good match on our hands here. One game all. You have to love how Zhang's come out to start this match, timing the ball so well, and her balls are so low over the net, so hard, so flat. And she's not overawed at all by the occasion. It's a blustery wind, and the ball may or may not be where you think it's going to be. Really uh, a day to move the feet, perhaps an extra step. Break points. Well, that is a correction from the chair. No challenge from Serena, who elects to accept the overall from Alison Lang because the ball was good. She knew it, so no need to waste any time. The disadvantage here. It's first serve. Yeah. And and Shang was in a good position there, a good deep mm. forehand. And Serena, I mean, you've got to take advantage of those points where you do see a second serve. Look where Zhang is, it's, it's remarkable. And she's trying to take that so early. It's a good play. I mean, even then, the kick serve got up on her. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if she waits a little bit behind the baseline, that serve would kick up and over her head. So she's taken the approach where she's going to take it as early as possible. She just has to find the timing there, find the right contact point.
Well, it's not going to take this centre court crowd long to fall in love with Zheng Zhi. Pinpoint serving. She's got such great variety. In, I, I, when I was playing, I remember looking at, at some of her serves and where she'd like to serve break point down, and it was completely even, T or wide. Mm. And that is such a disadvantage to the returner. delivery it's 117 miles an hour and that's quick same toss different spins and equally confident in all of her serves female there are some men out there who take that serve the accuracy of it is unbelievable so how much preparation Lindsay did you do for your opponents I was looking earlier on I think you played Serena in one Grand Slam final yes that, well, that, <laughs> played, her, played her many times and it was as I said I was the most important thing is trying to get that serve back and she has the best serve that's ever been in women's tennis and certainly the best serve I ever faced and I, would, I was looking at stats and trying to get a sense of, okay, you know, if she goes 60% to the forehand or, or just trying to get an edge, and there wasn't. And that's what makes it so challenging. Does everybody do that sort of research at, at, at the top level? It's a bit like a goalkeeper in a football penalty shootout. You he'll, should. He'll, yeah. he'll figure out where the likely penalty taker is, which side he's likely to kick it, the ball. In the big moments, you want to make your opponent beat you with their worst shot. So you always like to try and take away their best one. And a number of good coaches will sit down and do a lot of research. Sometimes the players get more involved themselves. Sometimes they would rather just hear it. It all depends on the personality. Uh, Serena and Venus are players that, that worry more about themselves and their opponents. They're one of the few that if they're playing their best, there's very little their opponents can do. So break points for Zheng in the previous game, but she couldn't capitalize. It's 1-2. Another key strategy for the opponent against Serena is you have to hold on to your serve. You have to be able to hang in there and put a little bit of service pressure on Serena. Zhang so far has done a nice job in her service games. Second serve is a bit of a tiddler, and at some point, 
Serena is going to climb all over that. And it puts pressure on when you're serving at somebody with a return, you know they're going to step in. <laughs> Desperate defense on the baseline, but it worked. We need a good women's match. We, just, we fancy a three-set thriller. Well, it's hard to live up to Nadal and Federer the last two nights. And most of the focus will be on, what's his name? Uh, Andy, uh, yeah. <laughs> Andy Murray later. Ah. Last year in the early rounds, we had a great battle with Sabine Lasicki and Li Na early on. And you're right, not so much drama yet on the women's side. So having a look around this centre court, it's a big day for the big names, I tell you that. And some are working and uh, some are not. <laughs> and uh, delighted to see Chris Everett diagonally opposite us here, Lindsay. You're working for American TV three-time champion here at the All England Club. What years were those? <laughs> what do we see? 74, 76, and 81. <laughs> okay. She put Hannah Mandlick over in the last one. Oh, and that those. woman knows a thing or two about winning here. Just the nine times. <laughs> Is that it? She's in the raw box. And in the front of the raw box, Phil Brook on the right-hand side, who's the uh, chairman of the club. And Jack Nicholas, a winner of uh, 18 major champions. You know, his first ever professional golf title was the US Open. Time. 1962, and that was at Oakmont. Unbelievable. He went on to win 18 times. 19 times he was runners-up in majors. Nine times he was third, the Golden Bear. And he has got a great interest in China at the moment, I can tell you, because there's a lot of golf courses going on, and he's designing them with his team. They've accounted for 370 courses around the world. And then we've got all sorts of, uh, all sorts of personalities. Good fun. Great people watching here today, middle Saturday at the All England Club. Third round match. No breaks of serve yet. Zheng Zhi serving at 2-3. Love. There's the actor Dustin Hoffman ah. sitting with American player Justin Gimmelstab and also his son on the other side. Ran into them earlier on the player lawn. You'll get no rest sitting next to Justin. <laughs> 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 Won't watch the match in peace, that's for sure. <laughs> Okay. 
Sheila. And so far, it's it's been a really fun match to watch because Zhang has held her ground beautifully and her ground strokes, the, the margin has been so great. And, and sometimes that's hard with her because she doesn't have a lot of spin, but not so far today. And you talked earlier about some of the footwork with Serena and just a little bit too often today, she's falling over. She's not the one being strong and balanced in, in her positioning. That, that's when you pray the sun is out. You. <laughs> you, at least you've got something to blame it on. And this is when, as a returner, you're anticipating possibly a weak second serve. Not a lot of confidence. Yeah. Do you know, in that particular case, I really think it was the sun. Okay. <laughs> because the sun is in exactly yeah, the wrong exactly. place. Yeah, exactly. You can see right there in the replay. That's a bad feeling, though. <laughs> Center court. Yeah. She recovered nicely. Buster Mottram once served one right into the raw box. <laughs> um, accident. <laughs> wow. Serve is in the groove today for Serena Williams. Ace number five. Well, incredible reactions by both players. Serena, what a great defensive get there. And, and Zhang, again, attacking the first serve. 114 miles per hour. She's making contact inside the baseline. Zheng Zhi, the Chinese number two, has come out here with a very clear game plan, and she is playing to it. She is the one who's had break points so far. We're going to make a comparison between the return of serve hit points for both players on the uh, first serve and the second serve there. Well, Serena always adopts a, a very aggressive return position. She doesn't like to move backwards, always looking to move in, especially on the second serve. But what su has surprised me so far in this match is Zhang's return hit point. She's hitting it even earlier than Serena's making contact. And so often players back up against Serena to give themselves more time. But Zhang so confident with her timing yep. and her ability to hit and react. It, that's quite impressive. There's a burgeoning middle class in China. 14 and a half million club members playing tennis time. in that nation. And they would love some success at the Grand Slabs. And they've had some of it. A lady in your picture, Zheng Zhi, with Yan, has won two Grand Slam doubles already. Way, way long ago, back in 2006. Is that that long ago? I'm afraid, Lindsay. <laughs> time does start <laughs> rushing by. <laughs> But it doesn't feel like 13 years since you won oh, it. It's a lifetime ago.
Zhang Ji love. This is the fourth service game for Zhang Ji. She's lost one point so far. An incredible job. And she doesn't have a, a big serve, but she backs it up so well with her ability to play defense and her footwork. Bonus, 77 mile an hour, second serve. And you can go love 30 down, you feel like you're sort of out of the game on a grass court. Serena, of course, never out of the game completely. No, but I really expect Serena to, to start teeing off right now to try and get a little bit better timing. This is going to be an interesting. Right from the word go, it has looked like the sort of match where, you know, it could be close. It seems to me vital that the Chinese player, if she's going to win this match, needs the first set. Serena can uh, overpower any opposition. Uh, she's playing a tough at the moment. Four games all still breezy and blowy. Bright sunshine here on the middle Saturday. Sister. And we have a double scheduled later on today on court two. Crowds will love that out there. Dozen aces. Nine games played here. 5 4 to uh, Serena Williams in this very interesting second round match. This is certainly no pushover. Zheng Zhi has too much experience for that. Semi finalist both at Wimbledon and at the uh, Australian Open as well. Twice an Olympian. So she's, uh, she's giving a good account of herself here. Take a look at some of the numbers that uh, illustrate what's going on here. Zheng Zhi, as Lindsay Davenport was saying, 100% points one when she gets her first serve in. And Serena has only lost four serves, four points with her first serve. 
impressive stuff. And Serena, when she gets... There you go. So <laughs> let, let, let's do the logical thing here. So Serena should miss her first serve on purpose so she can hit a second serve because she doesn't lose any points on her second serve. <laughs> it's We've only lost a total between both players, five points on their service games. That is not an everyday occurrence on the WTA. What, the bloke changing his trousers then? <laughs> in, the, in the player's box. <laughs> that was his... I was going more towards holding oh, serve so comfortably yeah. every time, but oh, no, we looking... know where your mind's at. Yeah. That's um, Zheng Zhi's coach, isn't it? Her husband. That's got to be difficult, hasn't it? And we see it as also with Li Na, although she's a little bit more outspoken <laughs> about yes. their trials and tribulations. Service. Bad end for the sun, this. Well, and that's more of what we were expecting from Serena, taking the second serve early, getting on the offense right away. Some uncharacteristic errors from Serena Williams, spraying the ground shots a little bit. It's an unusual time for an error. It's almost as though Serena Williams is a little bamboozled with the lack of pace. Just 76 miles an hour. And she's early on that last return. Mm. Just hasn't quite found, found her, her timing and, and her where she wants to stand to make contact. It's a much weaker second serve to return than, than she's used to playing against or practicing against. And also Zhang does such a great job defending it.
excellent point here. You can see her preparation. Sets up nicely, gets her racket back so early with her backhand. And, and again, it's the body weight going forward. It's always a good indicator when watching Serena on how her ground strokes will be, if they're penetrating or not. Saved break points, Serena earlier, uh, but she hasn't lost serve. She is um, six five up on this middle Saturday. It's uh, Armed Forces Day here, well around the United Kingdom. But, uh, that's already been celebrated, and it's a royal box full of um, Olympians and sporting stars. And you can spot them there. Boris Becker talking to uh, Lily, his wife there. Frank Sedgman is up there actually. He won the singles, doubles, and mixed 60 years ago. Phil. Phil Tufnell having a good chat. There's Matt. New dad, Matt. There's uh, Mark Foster as well. Many times, uh, five times Olympian. Too many World, European, and Commonwealth records to list, really. A contestant on Strictly in 2008 is what he's best known for, isn't it? Ridiculous. And uh, his week six Paso Doble performed her since you've been gone proved his undoing. And Martina, she had. Um, a little stint on Dancing with the Stars in the States. How was she, Linz? She, <laughs> she, she <laughs> didn't last long. She didn't uh, both listen. her and Monica Sellis both uh, have competed throughout the years, and yeah. we haven't had a tennis star do well yet. Todd Woodbridge did well in the Australian I think one. Alicia Mollick did it as did well she? in Australia. Mm. I don't know how she ended up. Maybe you'll think about doing it for us in the States. I hear you no. did pretty well. No, no, I was never there. What program? footwork in in dancing it's just so similar on a tennis court I mean just you've got to be in position I have not seen Zheng Zhi off balance in this set so far Serena, we haven't seen her up as, at net as, as much as she would like. That's just the fourth time she's been able to come in in this f first set. She just hasn't been able to get her positioning inside the court enough. Zhang doing an excellent job with her depth and, and running balls back. Off balance and reaching once again. 30, and that's what you were talking about earlier with taking an extra step. On a windy day, Serena's got to work a little bit harder with those little steps. And something that, that Jeng does so naturally and, and so well.
40-13. And Serena really starting to dig her heels into these rallies, not going for a big shot early on. She knows this is she's going to have to work points, build them. And that's what she has started to do. Getting up more now than it has throughout this first set. So just as we uh, approach a tie break, maybe game point. <laughs> Shinji's husband and coach. Chen Yu delighted, no doubt. That's a really splendid six games from her. So six holds from each. And into a tie break we go. Third time they've played at Wimbledon. Played the uh, semi final. Thank you. Back in 2008. The second set of that one went to a breaker. Williams won it. The whole match 6 2 7 6. Serena telling herself there, move forward. She's she just a little bit off her best, where she's not anticipating the shot. She's not in the right position to hit a number of these. As you said, she's been the one off balance and falling over. the wind to uh, Serena who was having trouble with her dress a bit. It just sort of tucks it into those magenta shorts. To, it's just a blustery, difficult day. And you know, She normally plays her best tennis when there's a bit of a crisis around. And this is a bit of a crisis at Love 3. There it goes. Proof that the wind is behind her and going down the court most of the time, but then it changes around.
better hitting there from Serena. She had a little bit more pace and, as you said, a bit more urgency in that last baseline rally. Now trying to pump herself up. She's been pretty muted so far. We'll see a few more come on, a few more attempts to get some energy going. Oh, now the ball may have just checked on the line. Just stopped it up a little bit, so you're early on the play and you can hoik it out wide. That's just happened there. And she's off the, around the net once again, not hanging around. Never used to have chairs. 1975 they were uh, provided, but you don't have to use them. You can just carry right on if you want. No sit down. Really allowed it to, at the change after six points in a tie break. So with the wind, Sheng Zhi here, four points to two. Such a considered shot, isn't it, that forehand? She seems to have so much time. Very technically strong. Just feeding the ball down the line with a little bit of pace. 2-5. Massive point, this one. points from Serena Williams there those were very important points from 2-5 to 4-5 now she's really got to focus on her return she has not been timing that shot well at all so does she go for it now or does she hold back and just try and get the ball into play these are the questions that swirl around a player's mind at this point Sheng Zhi, two points from the set been many unforced errors from Zhang that's just the fourth unforced error she did a nice job getting out of trouble early in that rally but then missed the easy one Got and Serena nice. made sure she made that return she a did. lot she more spin on that forehand is that this was over the low part of the net. It was just a rallying ball, really. Missed by a long way. So it's been a pretty intense 51 minutes, this. Sheng Zhi has a set point.
This is a major surprise, although Zheng Zhi has certainly deserved it and has great pedigree at the highest level. Oh, well, we are going to see Serena Williams pushed in this match. She's in the same half of the draw as Victoria Azarenka, the number two seed. Although it's way too early to be uh, sort of looking too far ahead here. It's just a third round match and oh, it's a bit of a turn up. Lindsay, what do you make of that uh, first set? Didn't Zheng Zhi play well for a start? Yeah, and that's that was the most important thing early on. Is she held her ground with her serve, was able to hold all the way through that first set. So that put even more pressure on Serena. And, and we still have to keep in mind that loss at the French Open. And it, it, it speaks volumes because how it, she lost to a player ranked outside the top 100. She was winning comfortably and she got nervous. And very often in, later in a player's career, the nerves creep in more often. And, and we're starting to wonder if that's the case with Serena. Right. And, and we don't know. She's just not playing her best at these big moments. And, and we saw it in the tie break where she just made few loose unforced errors the match that Lindsay Davenport is referring to was the match against Virginie Rosano in the first round of Roland Garros just uh, what three four weeks ago now and she was a set and five one up in the second set tie break so two points away from victory and on nine occasions she was two points away from victory but she completely fell to pieces and we saw her pressure. tears in the third set which I mean Serena Williams is normally the fighter out there and, and looks forward to those moments but well there's going to have to be more moments and, and, and a pulling from the sort of the depths of competitive spirit here which you know is good fun sport not easy if you're one of the players out there but she's going to have to dig deep to win this thank match you, this will be fascinating thank you, ladies many and people's tournament favorite along with Maria Sharapova is in trouble here on center court it's a third round match and it's a set to Zhengzhi Starting to see some frustration from Serena, particularly with her return. It, it, it is fascinating that she has not been able to get a break point yet in this match. Sometimes the court over the other side of the net can look so small. throw off the, the, the shackles of nerves that or whatever it is that's holding her back at the moment. We, we must give credit to Zheng Zhi for the quality of her play and I think we are but this match is still about Serena Williams you feel. Can she find her A game? similar to Roger Federer. We're just not used to seeing them not win Grand Slams. And for Roger Federer, it's been two and a half years. Mm -hmm. For Serena, it's been two years since this tournament. <laughs> Fabulous start to the second set. The Chinese number two. It's not often you see Serena get out hit from the baseline. And so far, with the exception of the one forehand Zhang missed in the tiebreak, there have been really no bad shots, no bad errors. She's believed in herself through this point. Good 
And that snaps an eight point winning streak for Zheng Zhi. That's it's been a really good seven or eight minutes for her. Just like that, Serena gets out of trouble, and she has that ability better than anybody on the WTA, getting out of trouble with just her serve. sunshade today. Yeah, well, we saw the competitor in Serena Williams there. She hadn't been able to find the court for a few points, but serving her way to the first game and still very much engaged mentally in this desperately wants to make the second week of these championships as a singles player. been far more examples of points where Serena is the one trying to defend and hitting shots and just trying to scramble and stay in the rally and we're so used to seeing it be the other way. Wait, please. of frustration <laughs> in that return. Lukash Rosal was back. 97, that's an amazing speed.
this is the opening Fizzy match on a wonderful day on centre court. David uh, Ferrer versus Andy Roddick a little bit later on. And then Marcus Bagdadis against Andy Murray, number fourth seed. Who is the favorite in the Roddick Ferrer match? I think Ferrer has the head to head just even on hard courts. And just mm. with Andy's record here on grass. Yeah, he won Eastbourne it's last week as a, well. It's a great opportunity for him. Well, who do you think is going to win? No, I was just curious. A three-time finalist here against a player who's not favorite surface, even though Ferrer is. Good match. Might have to wait a bit for Baghdadis and Murray. Wait a bit for Ferrer and Roddick as well, because um, just get the feeling that Serena wouldn't let two sets go without producing her best tennis. Although she just can't break through on the Zheng serve at the moment. Comfortable service game for her here, though. None for Zheng, but no breaks of serve. It's not just about the, the amount of aces. It's about how you back it up. I really can't say enough how important it is when you play Serena that you handle the first and second shots she throws at you. And Zheng has so far today done that better than anyone I, I've seen play Serena in quite some time. And Serena hasn't gotten to a, a break point yet on Zhang's serve. She also hasn't gotten a lead. She hasn't had that love 30, 15, 30, 50, obviously 15, 40 with no break points. This is a big point for her. serves being punished now 1530 this is what Lindsay Davenport was talking about 15, next 30. two points absolutely crucial after this return down the line is Serena Williams about to get a foothold in this match well, it was just a matter of time before Serena was going to make 14. her presence known with her return game. Late call. Not even challenged by Serena Williams. It would have been worth a challenge just based on the fact that it was such a big point. Oh, look at the shin. Oh dear, that is, uh, it's not really concentrating, is it? for this uh, former champion. Just in case you don't know the Williams story, it is amazing. From Compton in uh, 
you know, pretty tough area of, of Los Angeles. There's a dad there. There's Mum and Dad deserve an enormous amount of credit. The, these two youngest daughters of his, Venus and, and Serena, they have been through so much, and they have dominated the sport. Tough area that they grew up in, and uh, I, there's various stories about how he approached the gangs and just said, look, can you look after them a little bit? They're trying to make something happen for themselves here and advance themselves in their life and their sport. Please, can you leave them alone? You know, there's been so much has happened to this family. They're, Older sister in September 2003 was uh, shot and killed in Los Angeles. Yeah, Tunde. I mean, obviously, this is a massive impact on everybody. And Serena is the youngest of five. Time. And it really is a film script. She had a pulmonary embolism, Serena. Only came back at Eastbourne last year, but we're led to believe that that was a, a life threatening situation. It's a Sjogren syndrome, is the autoimmune deficiency that, that Venus has. I mean, it's just an extraordinary story from the beginning to end. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Players are ready. At times, it's, it's an impenetrable family unit to really understand everything that's going on, but that just serves to increase the interest. And let's see what Serena can do now with this momentum. She's got her first break. That should give her a lot more confidence, feeling a lot more sure of herself out here. The good news for Serena is her serve has been working throughout this match. Still has not lost many points on her serve, and that has a lot, given her time, given her time to find her ground strokes. There are times when she starts easing up through the gearbox that it just looks like there is nobody else down the other end. And this last five minutes, ten minutes, we have seen the true Serena Williams here on a grass court. <laughs> that service motion is beautiful. She's backed up that break. 4-2. There's only been a, a few players through the history of, of tennis who's, it was all in their own hands. And Serena controls her destiny every time she steps on the court. If she's able to play at her best, near her best, very few players can challenge her. Now there's things you can do as an opponent to try and disrupt her. Hanging on to your serve, fighting hard to defend well and get a lot of balls back, which is what Zhang has done through this match. But Serena's been able to turn the tide, get that one break, and, and now she's a different player than she was in the first set, a much higher level of tennis.
Well, that's eight points again. This time for Serena, though, in a row. Serena Williams was, was set down, one love and 30 love on her own serve. Served away out of trouble. And now is in uh, complete control of this second set, it would seem. Hey! And that's two breaks. So when, when did you see Serena first? You would have been familiar with the play of Venus, presumably, first, Lindsay, but uh, you were at or, or near the top of the game when they emerged, right? Exactly, and, and they, I believe the first time was in 1997, played them in doubles at a tournament in Indian Wells, California. And Venus had played just a handful of tournaments up to that point. Serena had played one, and she played that one at a very young age before the age eligibility rule kicked in. So she was exempt from that. And then she started to play more around the 98 year and then really surprised everyone by being the first of the two of them to win a Grand Slam at the 1999 US Open and really even took the family by surprise. Venus had a hard time dealing with that as well. Everyone assumed that the older sister would win and, and be the champion first. It was 1997, wasn't it, the first Williams? Got to the uh, final of the U.S. Open. Venus was in the final. Martina Hingis. Yes, Martina, your partner next week. Good yep. luck in the senior doubles. <laughs> Senior-ish. I just got lucky. Hard to say no to Martina Hingis. I've seen you two play. It's just wicked. Well, that's all for the second week. Now, these players are trying Thank to play you, for a place gentlemen. in the second week of the women's singles. Third round match, and Serena Williams serves for the second set. Fifty love. LBW got him on the shins, might have been above the roll. Forty love. Yeah, he was asked early on about receiving a fast ball quickly I mean he knows all about that wait till he sees Roddick out here later on Andrew Strauss captain of the test team for England Let's it's cricket Lindsay <laughs> how long have you got straight points for Serena Williams and she wraps up that second set cricket you can play for five days and you can end in a draw Linz come on I know a little bit about it's it it's not American is it at a all? tester <laughs> I mean you, there's no such thing as a draw is there no you can't walk away after five days and <laughs> not have established <laughs> not have a winner or a loser. exactly it's an outrage isn't it there you go a bit of a yawn he looks a little bit young to have had a very big Friday night <laughs> but you just don't He's know. just saving his energy for Mr. <laughs> Murray later. Yeah. You have to rest up for those matches. Bit of a waste of a center court seat, to be honest, isn't it? Okay, so uh, down the left-hand side of the page, they're all in yellow. That means that that's the dominant side. <laughs> yeah. every, I mean, every single statistic is in Serena Williams' favor. Is there anything to add? Uh, well, I, what I'm most impressed about are her winners to unforced errors ratio for the match so far. I mean, 39 winners to just nine unforced errors. That's an incredible ratio mm. for a player that, that plays as high risk as Serena does. But you're right, as soon as she got out of that game at Love 30, it's just been a completely different match. She needed an even bigger scare than losing the first set. 
risk of potentially going down a break early in the second and that's all it took for that set. The players have left the court. And good good play by Zhang to try and get a little bit more time and regroup before this third set. I was just looking back at your your finals here. The one against the one against Steffi 99 6 4 7 5. Happy men. How did that, how did that finish? <laughs> It was also surreal. It was so much rain in 1999. We actually played the quarters on Friday, semis on Saturday, finals on Sunday, and just kind of just kept rolling with the punches. And what what happened to Alexandra Stevenson, who you yeah. played? I in played the her in, in one semifinal. She struggled with injuries and never was really a, a force again. But interesting on the other semifinal, Steffi played Mirjana Lucic, who's now still in the draw this year, 13 sure. years later. Amazing. A deciding set in this third round match. Sheng Zhi, Chinese number two, serving to Serena Williams, seeded number six this year. What an important start this is for Zhang Zhi. Try and, and play like she did in that first set. Doesn't want to get, let Serena continue this role. Five times in total, and it's um, five nil to Serena Williams. The last two, though, were pretty close. They both went three sets. Both of them were six three in the third. Great hold. Well, Lindsay Davenport and I have been discussing cricket. How about <laughs> no, Andrew, you've been discussing cricket. <laughs> How about skeleton? You know what skeleton is? Why do you have to embarrass me? No, 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 no. Skeleton. Have you not seen that? No. That's like a tea tray. You go down this ice chute. Oh, okay. And that Amy Williams won a gold medal for it. I just, she's in the raw box today. Imagine that. And going down on a tea tray at like 90 miles an hour, head, head first, with no brakes.
Mahjong's gone back to her game plan of taking balls early, trying to move forward. She has to figure out a way to keep Serena off balance in this third set if she's going to win. Let's for service. Serena is ready to serve on the uh, bad court and with good 30, reason. 15. Let's for service. Challenges remaining. Give more final set. Frank Sedgman. Singles, doubles and mixed champion. 60 years ago on this very court. Love. Well, that won't be accomplished again anytime soon. No. <laughs> Remember Billie Jean King doing it. Yep. Well, it, particularly for a male player. Just way too tough with three out of five sets in singles and doubles here. And that's the danger if you don't hit your spots serving against Serena. Zhang needs to hit that further wide or right into the body, but not right into the strike zone of Serena.
40, and that has been the most surprising element to this match, is the amount of returns Serena has failed to put into court. She's looked great on some, attacking, hitting winners, but normally much more consistent in making the return. front here and hasn't she done well considering that she took a real hammering for the last 15 minutes of that second set as Serena Williams really brought her best game to bear in this uh, third round match oh just good are you surprised by the level of composure that uh, the Chinese player has shown here well she's always been a great competitor I'm very impressed with how she's rebounded early in this third set because these first few games have been crucial. Because Serena Williams, when she gets on a roll and she's feeling good, she normally tends to stick with it and run away with a match. But Zhang has recovered nicely holding these service games, and that is crucial for her if she has a chance to win this match. Remember the Chinese Olympic team in 2004 and uh, 2008. Delighted to say that Serena will be back. 20 days after these championships for the Olympic Games, the tennis event Time. to be held at Wimbledon. And they've won the double, Serena and Venus, two Olympic Games. Serena did not travel to Athens in 2004, so they won in Sydney in 2000 and again in Beijing in 2008. Tennis in the Olympics, Lindsay, it's a, it's a good thing for the I game. I think it's great. I mean, everyone has their own opinions, but all you have to do is ask these players. There's no prize money involved, and everyone has talked about their excitement of playing here in just a few weeks time and everyone in, especially in the United States they're fighting over mixed doubles teams uh -huh. you know they want medals you, and it and was gentlemen, personified boy, with Thank Roger you. Federer in Beijing his happiness Thank when he you. won the doubles gold Nadal carrying the flag for Spain this year at the opening ceremony Djokovic for Serbia and Sharapova for Russia indeed To imagine there'll be a few more tennis players as well getting that honor 19 of the top 20 players in the world male and female have entered the event the two exceptions Mar marty fish the men's side and marian bartoli on the women's side the moment in this third round match is at this point in the second set that really kick-started Serena she got down early in that set love 30 let's see if she can get herself out of trouble with her serve here Serena Williams failed to capitalize. Here she has three break points in a row. Better safety there from Serena with her ground strokes. 
does not want to make an error and give Zhang this break. Zhang's had chances these last two rallies definitely tightened up on that forehand and Serena doesn't give you many looks she has the ability to s serve aces and serve her way out of trouble those could have been her best looks Zhang at a break seen her play a little bit of tennis you've played a bit against her it is predictable isn't it she if she's facing three break points one of them is going to be an ace and she's climbed back into this game that's well played Serena Williams Well, ace number 15 gets her out of a terrific game there from both players. It had been love 40. Now there's uh, new tennis balls coming out. So that was the last game with the old ones. And that's sort of the easiest game to break if there is such a thing against a big server. And she had her chance, didn't she? she? Did. Two rallies. And that forehand, as we talked about from Zhang, was very tight. And that's all you Serena needs. It's just to get out of trouble once or twice and then... She gets her confidence back, and we saw her then serve her way out of that game. Just pulled off that forehand a bit. We've seen her with her body weight not going forward enough into the court, Serena. Either falling to her left or falling backwards. It's the same on that last forehand. Oh, 
Well, that is a big, big miss when you think where we are in the match here. Two all. Two all in the deciding set of a big match, and that's uh, popped in at 75 miles an hour, which is, uh, I mean, that's, that's club level speed in the middle of the court. And a big miss from Serena. And it all started there with the forehand return. Better positioning and better balance when she hit that one. That's really what she needs to focus on from here on out is her return game, making sure she gets that return back. certainly saw the ball flying long but she challenged as quickly as she could and in fact it was out yes. and that keeps her in the game how can we not have goal line technology it's amazing in I mean how easy is that how frustrating is it <laughs> to yeah. watch firm believer and if the technology exists you have to use it and I also I think at times in, in tennis maybe starting at four all in the third or, or in a set to just let it take over naturally to put it in the players hands at these crucial junctures is, is asking a lot first used in, uh, in 2007 and here so what you're saying is make it a completely uh, automatic calling system from a certain point in a match rather than a player request driven system well it's in sport very rarely do you put calling rules or, or making the player besides worrying about their own performance and what they need to do start officiating it's a it's a lot of stress and players you see get nervous stopping points at times and I hate to see a player run out of challenges and then a crucial call come at a time of a match and the technology is not there to just make the right call. So we saw a return earlier on from Serena Williams that was on the line. She didn't challenge. It happened to be on a very big point. She didn't challenge and she lost the point. That system should have said no no hold on. You hit the line there. Time. I can see In my logic. opinion. In my opinion, yeah, especially it's if it's a point ending point. shot. Let's just get all the calls right, no doubt. I mean, talk about the use of electronics. How about the finishing line in the 800 meters and the 1500 meters? Kelly Holmes, we enjoyed so much back in 2004, winning two gold medals. But, uh, imagine if they didn't have a picture across the finishing line. And there was some bloke with a whistle Thank or a flag or something of design and a clipboard. Edition. Hawkeye. Five games played in this deciding set of this third round match. No breaks of serve. Chances, but no breaks.
<laughs> Second survey, so kick like a mule. Uh, little Jin Ji uh, couldn't reach up to that. That what, was a kick serve. And amazing, that's the first time I've seen her run backwards. She was moving backwards already and was so far behind the baseline. We've been seeing her for the majority of this match, taking them inside the baseline, moving forward. again she did not wait for the ball to come to her there she was in position and that's the first time we've seen Zhang takes him off her forehand she got more angle more spin pulled Serena further outside the court go for a pass there in this windy conditions a lob is a is a risky shot to try she had a very good hit on that backhand make Serena come up with that tough low volley and it's such a crucial stage second serve on the second point this is what it's like to receive a kick serve that's that's what you see that's why Zheng Zhi has been trying to get in and get the ball before it rises <laughs> and when she goes back <laughs> that's the result she really has to figure it out before Serena serves if she's gonna try and take it early or back up because of her height much easier for a taller player to deal with the kick serve And again, Serena just not keeping balanced and holding her ground when she makes contact. I've seen far too many forehands where she's falling over. movement 
forward and back. Laterally, she has it all. 40-15. Those little quick steps. It's one of her biggest assets on the court. <laughs> Hold on a minute while I just get my breath back here. She's supposed to play to the server's rhythm, but it doesn't always work out that way. So Zheng Zhi, 4-3 up here, tremendous scrapping that she's prepared to do and her mobility around the court. And she, she took place, she took part in the, the first all-Chinese final on tour in 2006. Li Na, she played, naturally, in uh, Estoril all those years ago. And also trying to become the second Chinese woman in the round of 16 here this year. Pong Shui is already there. She now faces Maria Kirilenko on Monday. Who would you fancy for that one? I'm going to go Kirilenko. Okay, she is She's been well. looking better and better. Kim Kleisters is still in the draw. That's a, a captivating story. She plays Angelique Joy. Kerber. In her last Wimbledon. That's definitely it for Kim this time, isn't it? That's She's what she there. says. And she'll play here, the Olympics, for sure the US Open. And, and she thinks it's that's when it's going to be over. It's tough to let it go. I'm sure Jack thought about it a few times, but then came back and he won the Masters, didn't he, in 86. 18 major championships. 19 runner-up places. Martina, well, she nicked a piece of grass, didn't she, from uh, Sendercourt last time she was out there. A nine-time champion. In singles. Great patience there from Serena. She really built that rally. She hit a lot more higher balls over the net, more depth, and then she makes her move. Move forward in the court, take that backhand early.
Seventeen aces now. None for Zheng. sort of game you want going into a game where you want to break and you sense the winning line and now Serena Williams has a little bit of the wind behind her from this end from what we can sort of feel or see in here she's had a little bit of difficulty from uh, the end she's serving from has Zheng Zhi now slightly sort of uphill it feels when you're serving into the wind four games all And she's getting ready, Zhang, so quickly after she serves. And that allows her to get her balance, and get in good position to handle the return of Serena. She has her first ace. It was a cute little ace at 99 miles an hour, but just <laughs> Placed correctly, and what a wonderful game for her as she looks to close out the victory. Now, will the players in the locker room be? This will be one where there's a popcorn match now. That's this is the one where in all the locker rooms, there's three different locker rooms here for the women that they're huddled around watching to see if uh, Zhang could pull off this upset because this this would be a big one. I mean, Zhang has been to the semifinals before, so she likes to play on grass, but. You always get the sense that the Williams are so invincible on grass. They've won here nine times between the two of them. Fascinating. We've had so many tight matches, haven't we? Federer, Nadal, unusually. Nadal going out. Federer surviving last night. Now Serena Williams in trouble. Undoubtedly her and Sharapova, sort of joint favorites. Time. Venus went out on court two. Defending champion Petra Kvitova has moved through pretty quietly. Not a lot of talk about her, but... She won her match, she's lost one game today, so Serena got to step up her level. Serving to stay in the match and the tournament, 4-5, third set. Accepting a nod from Alison Lang, the umpire. Well, that serve at 117. I don't think she got a good look at it. No. Oh. Uh, committed on the return. That's a good thing. But if you are going to commit, you have to make a better return than that because you're out of position. Well, she, we saw her on the last time. The kick went over her head as she was moving <laughs> backwards there. She decided to try and take it early.
Legs for service. What a game. Okay, she battened down the hatches there, didn't she, Serena Williams? No sniff of a mistake. Excellent serving. Five games all. Just over two hours played here. Ferrer and Roddick waiting in the wings. Murray Bagdatis, third match on centre today. Tie breaks in the deciding set at just Wimbledon. Thinking, uh, just thinking that because Zhang has not broken serve yet. And the US Open, you can win a match by not breaking serve. Play a tiebreaker in the third set, but that's, Zhang's going to have to figure out a way to break serve if she wants to win. She's had six break points. Mentality starts to alter and change throughout the course of a long match, doesn't it, Lindsay? After three hours or so, or two hours or so, the, the body depletes a little bit. You can lose concentration easily. Well, and this is when the nerves really <laughs> are a huge factor in this match. Did you notice and did you know when you were playing a third set that you had an advantage serving first or did you care either way? Because some people really cared about serving first and others didn't. It all depends who you play against and on what surface you're on. Definitely on grass, you want to be the one serving first because if you do get broken, you still have another chance. Then your opponent has more time to think about having to then serve it out. Where time. in this example, Zhang, she breaks, it, it's over. And it's, it's a big advantage when you're holding serve so comfortably as these two players have been in this match. You said in the first set the women's draw was lacking a big dramatic match that the men have had. I think you got your wish. This is it. For the second time. Why, please, thank you, the Blazer four time already. champion has to hold her serve to stay in the tournament.
Pretty love. Xingxi has held her own from the back of the court. Quite a long way up. Thirty Both times when Serena set her back against the wall, hasn't lost a point in her two service games. No tie breaks in the final set, so we play on until there's a two game advantage for one of these two players. Six all. What a difference in that last forehand by Serena. Took her time, prepared properly. It was much more forceful. It's a mid-court ball, and it didn't have anything really on it. Disappointment. Sinking feeling.
Well, 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 you wouldn't have thought this before the match, but then you look at the record of Zheng Zhi, and very quietly, she has amassed a brilliant record. She has been twice a Grand Slam semi-finalist, including here, 2008, where she lost to the opponent that she's playing today. Now, she lost that day 6-2, 7-6, but you get the feeling that she's the sort of player that learns from every single situation. Right from the word go, she's been prepared to go toe to toe with certainly the most intimidating player on the women's tour. So uh, a quite brilliant third round match. This, what's going to happen next, Linz? Oh, <laughs> Jenk, as we said, has not broken serve yet in this match. She had some great chances early in this third set, but these last two times she's returned for the match, she hasn't gotten a point. Serena has served her her way out of trouble so well. Jenk's got to figure out a way to try and get some of these returns into play. Any predictions from you? I think um, Xing Ji needs to get one of the first yes, two points to exactly. establish some sort of a base. Otherwise, Serena will run through another service game. It's fascinatingly poised here. Six, seven, and for a third time now, Williams serving to stay in the tournament. And also, Serena, the benefit of new balls. Always helps a good server, makes it the balls get even more and travel through the court faster. And Serena's only lost in the third round once here at Wimbledon. Back in 05, lost to Jill Kravis. Seconds, less than a minute when you're serving to stay in the tournament. For the third time in a row. Yeah, that's 12 straight points when she has served to stay in the match. There's nothing like a little bit of fear to focus the mind on the tennis court. The thought of losing is unacceptable to Serena Williams here, but will she have any choice? Seven games all.
Well, it was one of the longer rallies, and it was certainly the loudest. And it was finished with one of the finest winners. Yeah. In some ways, it was an odd ending, wasn't it? She Three. stopped play. It seems she thought that forehand hit the net, gave herself a quick fist pump before she realized it went over. Thank you. Just misjudged that. Both those players bit out of breath after the previous rally. Zheng Zhi would love to get a first serve in here because Serena is beginning to move forward. I mean, she's a good five feet, six feet in. Their percentage is much different from winning percentage first and second serves. Turn beautifully struck to within a few centimeters of the baseline. And little sister here has a break point. What a save there by Zhang. She's over hit three times in this game. Really feeling the presence of one of the game's greatest champions down at the other end of the court. And you can call them unforced errors, but when you're playing Serena Williams, Thank you. that may not be the case. It's another break point. <laughs> well, it's not over yet, but that break of serve could be absolutely crucial. What a competitor Serena Williams is. Great credit to her. Well, has she hit her way out of trouble here? She was finding the court in that game just time and time again, whereas in this match, for two hours of it at least, it's been so difficult. Well, great comeback in that game. Zhang was serving at 40-15. And Serena, that is when she started buckling down, started getting a little bit more careful with her ground strokes, making sure she wasn't going for too much. That's about all you get from Venus when she's supporting you. The difference between them in, in just about everything is, is amazing. Venus very talkative. Well, Serena much more demonstrative with her emotions on court. Yeah. Venus 
much more calm and composure at all moments. Nice place to be today. A little bit blustery, but temperatures up around uh, 20 degrees or so. And there's some great tennis ahead on Sunday court with Andy Roy, with Ferrer, with Andy Murray and Marcus Pantanis. And there's more tennis to be played in this one. But how much? Serena Williams has won the last 12 points on serve. Three games in a row to love. And now she serves for a place in the second week of the championships. Just her first. That is his first double fault. Let's first service. serve and return combination. No rain in here today, man. Serena, lucky that was called out. She would have stopped the rally, challenged. That's right. And if you're wrong, you lose the point. Zhengzhi was, and that was climbing into this ball. And that's the serve return Zhang has struggled with all day. An unusual show of emotion from Serena Williams. And the last time she was pushed this hard, just recently at the French Open, she lost a close one. This has been a real strengthening exercise for her. The first set won the second one six two and here she is with two match points. <laughs> it doesn't have to come out of the middle of the racket. It's an all or nothing return. A clean winner off a hundred and seventeen mile an hour serve. One match point saved. Williams wants it 
so badly. She's actually so tense. Wonderful return again. Not taking much time at all right now between points. Slight problems on the ball toss as well. Let's first service. Serena Williams survives 9 7, third set. <laughs> that's what it means to her. A brave performance from both. Well, what a match she found herself in there. Great credit to Zheng Ji. She tried everything. But a fabulous sharpener, Lindsay Davenport, for someone who has won this tournament on four occasions. And made a statement today with how she played in the clutch, Serena. She got nervous in Paris. An incredible effort from Zhang Ji. Played one of the best matches of her life. Just couldn't break serve throughout the match, and that was really the difference. But Serena, how well she played when her back was against the wall, and how confidently she served. So there'll be uh, a few autographs signed and a few pictures taken. And she'll make her way uh, off this court mightily relieved, I would say. Almost two and a half hours of play. You add that to perhaps 45 minutes of practice this morning. And that uh, she really did come through the fire today. She had to work so hard. She couldn't find the court on a return of serve for so long, but she might have played herself into some fabulous form for the second week of these championships. Sometimes you just have to escape. You've got to get through the match where you don't play that well. Serena served exceptionally well. Didn't have as good a timing on the ground strokes, but really showed her champion spirit today. All this and doubles later on, so she'll need her Sunday off. And what a lineup on center court today. You'll enjoy Andy Roddy, who found some form in Eastbourne last week. Winning a tournament again. Over 600 match wins on tour for Andy. And he's back on center, and he'll love these conditions. Against David Ferrer, the uh, granite from Spain. Can he break the higher rank man down, Andy Roddick? And after that, Marcus Bagdatis, a former semi finalist here, and a finalist at the Australian Open against Andy Murray. Not an easy match for the British number one as he attempts to get into the uh, second week once again. So the final score here, 6-7, six, 6-2, seven, six, nine, seven. That's just about it from Lindsay Davenport and uh, myself, but we must hear from the woman who won. Serena, congratulations, what a match. How was that for you? It was good to win that. Um, I needed a tough match like that and she's always playing me incredibly well, so I was happy to get through it. And today she pushed you really, really hard. Yeah, you know, we, we always have unbelievable matches together, so I knew it was going to be tough. And, you know, I look forward to next time because she's always playing really well. Did you know it would be this tough? How did you, after losing that first set, how did you pull it back? Well, I thought third set, you know, I, you know if I'm going to go out, I definitely want to go out with a bang. So, you know how I do it. We know how you do it. And that relief on your face, I don't think I've seen that much relief from your face before. 
Um, you know, I'm just fighting everything and, you know, playing her. She's playing unbelievable on grass. And um, so I'm just doing the best that I can. Well, well done. Thank you. Thank you.